You've been looking at email habits at work. Why are we so obsessed with our inboxes? I think you know, our obsession with email is really rooted in our sort of animal brain at the back of our heads. This um, it's what they call operant conditioning. Um, it's when you get a reward for exhibiting a behavior, you're more likely to exhibit that behavior. So if I give you a treat every time you raise your left hand, then you'll learn to raise your left hand. This is how animals are trained, you know, dogs, cats, horses. And we've kind of accidentally done that to ourselves with email. When we look at our inbox and we get a rewarding email, that makes us want to check our inbox uh, more regularly and, and, and actually more randomly because at any point there might be a fun email in there. So you're saying that uh, emailing might be a problem in some companies? I think emailing is certainly a problem in some companies. Um, there's some work has been done looking at how often people check their email and we're quite bad at understanding our own behaviors and our own patterns of behavior. So when people think they're checking every hour or every 15 minutes, when you actually look at them and, and observe how they're using email, then they're actually looking every five minutes or so. And that's problematic because it takes us time to get back into what we were doing before we were interrupted by email. When you have a little email alert, whether it's a, a pop-up or a sound or a flashing icon, and you go and check your email, it will then take you 64 seconds to get back into what you were doing beforehand. So for the worst offenders who are checking their email every five minutes, that's eight and a half hours a week just spent going, oh, what was I doing? And that's actually across an entire organization. That's a lot of time. Um, but there is, I mean, there's no doubt email is a cornerstone of business communications. But you have some ideas for letting the company intranet take the strain. Tell me about that. I think the key is to understand what people are using email for. And for some of the tasks, there are better platforms to do those things. So for example, a lot of email is informational. People kind of publishing information to their department, their team, to all staff. And those kinds of things, you know, newsletters for example, would be better placed on a blog. You know, this is the kind of email that doesn't require an action, doesn't require a response. It's purely information. And so what we need to do is put that somewhere where people know where it is. So when they need it, when they're interested, they can find it. Um, and blogging is a very good platform for that kind of um, continuous uh, stream of information. And there are other things that we do with email as well, like collaborating on documents. So we send documents around for, for comment and for editing. And then when we get five sets of uh, suggestions back, we have to sit down and hand merge those suggestions into one master document. So a wiki would be the natural place where you could do that, where each person can see the edits that the last person made. And so the document evolves and you, there's no duplication of effort because for the amount of time it takes you to edit my Word document or my PowerPoint slide, it's going to take me twice as much to incorporate those changes with everyone else's. So it's really about looking for common tasks that we do and asking is there a better way that we can do these things.